I'm Brad Pointer, I'm the reptile keeper here at the Cleveland Metro Park Zoo. This is a baby spider tortoise. Uh, they are just a difficult animal to get the eggs to hatch. The, in the wild, the eggs go through what's called diapause, where the, the, after the egg is laid, the uh, seasons try to change a little bit, and it gets cool out, and then it starts heating up again. And it's that heating up again that's in the cue for the egg to start development. And so we have to do that artificially by taking the egg out of the incubator and then putting it in an air-conditioned room. Um, and then we put it back in the incubator to try and break that cycle. Love the one that hatched last year, I just let it go. In about four months after the cooling or so, it started to develop. It's important when you do things like this to be able to reproduce it so it's not just a fluke. And that's the heartbeat. You can see it's, it's, it's a regular rhythm. Um, you can see how it goes to a crest, and then a valley, and then a small crest, and then a large crest. So it's kind of weird, it's like a boom, da dum boom, da dum kind of thing. Other animals that we hatch out here, like Blanding's turtles, it's like 58 days. Exactly. But these guys, are they're, they're so difficult. It depends on how much strength the, you know, the embryo has, because it has to crack that egg, and then it has to pull itself out. It was 19 days till it was movement in the egg, and then four days after we registered movement is when it hatched. 